Hey, there's so many tips and technique videos out there. A lot of people can be overwhelmed, don't even know where to start when they want to go bass fishing. You know, you might look at this lake right here and you go, gosh, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Let's go fishing. You put the boat in the water and then you think about all these videos, all these things that you've read, all these blogs. Where do I even start? Who is a bass, right? That's the question. Who is a bass? You don't know who he is. You don't know uh, what kind of things he likes to do. You don't know what kind of coloring books he likes to draw in. You don't know anything about a bass. So in order to, before we even consider fishing for a bass, you need to think about who is a bass? Who is this guy? What, what, what kind of things do they like? Where do they like to go? And how, how do they like to feed? You know, a bass, uh, they like to get around places that are different. Points, brush piles, docks, laydowns, anything that they can get next to, to, to get out there and, and you know, ambush their prey, that's what they wanna do. You know, if they were a person, they would be that dude in school that hides behind the corner and jumps out and scares you any chance they get. That's right, they're that guy. So the bass is that kind of guy and they don't think twice about it. They are looking for any opportunity to be able to ambush that prey and go out there and eat it. Um, you know, so what kind of a fish is a bass? A bass is actually a member of the sunfish family. That's right. Same family, same genius pool as, as, a, uh, as a bluegill, a shellcracker, a brim, a pumpkin seed. They're actually a part of the sunfish family. Um, and so being that they're a sunfish family, you think they like to lay in the sun, not necessarily a bass. As we already established, they like to jump out from nowhere. They like to jump out from nowhere and scare you, but they're also that person, if they were, uh, if they're a bass, they're gonna be laying somewhere you know different like i said you know like a, if you look at that dock they're going to be up under the dock hiding chilling out in a place where they're they're that they are not going to be seen you know if they were again if they were people they would be looked at really weird because they would just be laid up trying to hide in the weirdest places that you would get some funny looks if if a bass was actually a person So luckily fish don't look at other fish like that because if a bass, somebody looks at a bass funny, the bass is so mean that they're gonna, they're gonna jump out and, uh, and do something to them. But uh, as, you're, as you're gonna be fishing, bass, they're seasonal, you know? They, they, they're seasonal in the winter time. They're probably gonna be uh, in a little deeper depths, but that doesn't mean you can't catch them. They're gonna be on the more vertical structure uh, if you're looking around at this lake, you can see a couple uh, more vertical banks on that far side. If I'm fishing in the winter time when the water's colder, they're going to probably be in the deeper parts of the lakes or that vertical, that vertical uh, bank area. I think the bass in the winter time like to move up and down because remember they're they're lazy. They don't necessarily like to go uh, long distances to get their food. They're bullies. They're they're going to go up and down in that water column because as the sun comes out. They can come up and warm themselves uh, closer to the surface and then they can go back down easily. But then in the springtime, they're gonna be coming up to spawn. They're gonna be going back into the shallower pockets. Uh, they're gonna be going back there. They're gonna be going, uh, hitting more of that berry white uh, tune in their head because they're gonna be going back in that, that pocket. They're gonna be looking for places to spawn if they're not in that spawning mood. And then after the spawn, this is, uh, you know, you know, closer, not summer, but before the summer, probably they call that post spawn. They're gonna be between the backs of the pockets. Some of the fish stay in those backs of those pockets. Things can get a little uh, little tougher. Top water works really well in that post spawn period. And then you get into the summertime, uh, depending on your lake, if it has grass or if it does not have grass, it makes a huge difference. Bass love to live in the grass. It uh, pumps out the oxygen in the water. So no matter how hot it gets, bass will live in and around that grass. Just keep that in mind when you're trying to think of what kind of people that a bass is. Like who is a bass, right? They're gonna be, that grass is just like uh, just like hiding in, in front of that car. You know, they're gonna be right there 
in that grass, you know, totally hidden one second, they can move one foot to be out there and ambush their prey. So think about who a bass is, they're a bully, they're lazy, they want to try to stay hidden, and you need to put your bait in an area to where either they can see the bait from where they're hiding, or your bait can go into where they're hiding. Those are the two different ways. And the example of that is if you're fishing a dock, you might be throwing your bait next to the dock to where the fish can come out and get it. Or you could be throwing a bait that goes under the dock to get to where that fish may be laying as well. So just keep that in mind as you go out there and start bass fishing. And hopefully you can get a few bites and get something to go on. And then you can start getting in to all these technical, uh, tougher techniques and uh, getting to really know Mr. Bass. So good luck to you.